Welcome back, everybody. I started that welcome a little before the spin. That felt weird. That felt weird. There's a real rhythm that you got to hit. Like I, It's like swinging a bat, kind of. Why are we here? Because it's just a great place to be. Well, why would we want to be anywhere else? But more specifically, we're here for the junk. We're here for the junk view. Uh, if you came to see a junk view, then you came to the right place because we do that. The subject of today, the topic, is the Super Burkirk. And I will refer to them as the Super Burkirk uh, from here forward. It's a crawler. It's a siped crawler, though. It's got little, it's got little sipes on it. Uh, it is thoroughly Amazon. This is a very Amazonian tire. Uh, we've got full ribbing and belting. Uh, guys, like I, I don't know specifically what they're doing down at the knockoff and clone factories. It has an appropriate... Can you tell that that foam has been mounted inside? Ooh. Spider insert. Spider foam. Uh, honestly, feels pretty good. Right, right in line with a typical medium. Feels like a medium. They have been ventilated. These were provided to us by the kind gentleman over at the RC Underdog. Drop these off for me to try the Burkirks. Oh, we got to... Uh... It smells almost like nothing. There's like a hint. Uh, it's got the LaCroix of tire scent. Very... It doesn't smell like rubber. Certainly doesn't smell like the tire center. It has very little odor at all. These are very lightly used. There is the tiniest bit of feathering on the edges, but we countered that feathering by not paying attention. So these tires are non-directional. They are not directional in any way, so I didn't uh, pay attention when I mounted the other three. So some of them might have a feathered edge towards the front, some of them might not. The compound of the tire feels like an approximation of the RTR Canyon Trail, which, as you know, is not it's not super hard. It's not super soft either. But it is definitely more... Can, no, I was going to try to see if I could wiggle that back into place. It is more... It inspires more of a feeling of confidence than, than tires that we've been seeing recently. And as you can tell, uh, bubble juice... Absolutely, and uh, most certainly not required. These are some of the easiest to mount tires that I've ever seen. But I, I thought, I, I went on a long internal debate with myself about mountability as a component of tire score. And I thought, no, no. Because that almost... It's almost uh, complicit in allowing tires to be difficult to mount. Tires should not be difficult to mount. If they're a very soft compound, they're going to get hung up and stuff. But every tire should come with the things that are guaranteed to tires. It should have a decent inner lip. Like, it should mount. The hole should be the right size. So, scoring it, to me, somehow seems like on some level... We're allowing for improperly made stuff. So we're not going to do that. The only time you will hear tire mounting is when I say, like, in this instance, these fell onto the rims. And they don't, they don't, they don't have slip. They'll fit on a normal 24 millimeter ring. That's good. We are going to, uh, I've just, I have, I've made an executive decision because I neglected to do this in the order that I had initially intended. I like to uh, give you an idea of the, you know, the size and the weight. Stuff people might want to know. So we'll do that in, in this thusly order. We get the Canyon Tire size eliminator. One, eh, it might have been a little over squished. 118, they're claiming 120. It's margin of error. Um, pretty fat. 47? 47? Feels, 
feels all right. Feels all right. Doesn't feel. Doesn't feel terrible. In this combo, okay. Let's see how well calibrated I am. Some wants to say 178, so I'm gonna say 184. 181. Mm. If you're quick on the arithmetic, that's dead center between my first mental inclination at 178 and my guess at 184. Three grams. So the uh, the finger calibrator, they can't feel temperature very well. I can pick up uh, the hot things, but uh, apparently the, 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 the weight calibrator in the fingers is still, still pretty good. Three grams, off by three grams. There you go, the Super Bru su wait. Super Brukert. What are our expectations? Well, our expectations are once again and yet again. I'm looking all around me. The the damn the the blue one has gone has gone walkabout again. I just had it. I had just re you see where we like I had it here because I wanted to add self write. People have asked about the self-writing. I think this tire is going to do excellent at that. Um, it's really, I, I can't really make a forecast about overall drive. They, they don't feel super terrible. But the fact that the compound doesn't have any odor is at least on some level worrying a little bit. So we will see how these do. This is going to be the eight until time tells us to change it. Slick Rock, Daphne's Quail in the Notch, Daphne's Third. We do the bumps at dead limit. We do a self-writing test, which doesn't have to actually be in the order. It's whenever we have in a roll and we do a self-write test. I would like to get two or three in, so sometimes we drive a little rude to try to provoke it. And then we test it on Slick Rock Wet, which is, of course, uh, forward drive, directionality, and positionability, side hilling, uh, the combination of forward drive and directionality and positionability, uh, the ability of one set of tires to work without the other. Bumps are self-explanatory. That, that, well, is me explanatory. That is the tire to insert relationship. Self-writing is what we've got, and then wet is does it work in the wet? Like I think I think I think we've got a pretty good refination. I think eight things. I would like to keep it under ten. Uh, the quick view tire testing uh, regime as of the, for the moment, remains unchanged, but we will be modifying it to, to be more in line with the junk view tire testing protocol. Super Berkirk! Let's see how we do. For the purposes of viewing junk, I have opted to not just embrace chaos, but to grab it and pull it near and really snuggle up with it and that's not clean the rubber that was left over from the last time we did one of these. Uh, just leave it on there. And uh, I found a black uh, dry erase marker. So we're, we're gonna try to get all the colors up on that board. The first test is as always Slick Rock because the last test is as always Slick Rock. The Super Brickirk, uh told me nothing on the drive from shop to course. This, this is anticipated. We gotta expect a little dust. Lot of lug noise. So to anyone who thinks compound doesn't play a difference, here's the deal with that. Now, I have concluded that at the very least, if, we're, if the canyon trail is part of the conversation, then tread orientation, like the physical shape of the lugs and the layout of the tire, the thinness of the sidewall level relative to the main carcass of the tire, that can play every bit as important of a part as the compound. An RTR Canyon Trail cut, siped, a little bit of wear on it is amazing. But then when you make it out of a decent compound, you make it out of S1, it gets better. So we've proven in the past that this tread pattern can work. It is a scale translation of a real tire. So it's gonna take a hit point there. But then you rib it and you belt it 
ribbit, and then you make it out of a compound that is something akin to rubber, and you get what we what we have here now, which is presumably the way they wanted it. And this, this here, in testing terminology, these are very loud. I caught that, I caught that cruise control right there. All right, so yeah, a little bit of rubber left. Did we, did we clean them off and warm them up at all? Like right here, this is not a difficult one to, to pull that nose over. Oh, that was just a full pull reverse self right. So we're, we're making, we're making a mental note of that. Super Burkirk. You've, you have got to, you've got to get wheels on wood. There we go. Whew. We've got some formalities to do. All right. Fine. Ordinarily, I would go, well, we have no chance here, but let's see if we can at least get into shuttle position. Okay. I have a number. I have a number. All right. It's scraped. It scraped an additional half a point there. It went from, I, I was gonna be really okay with a 5.5, but uh, I think it scratched its way to a six. So for those that know, do know, uh, with the convoluted uh, junk view scoring system, a six is very bad. It's very, very bad. That, see that, we, we, we've got to be using the side leg. And an instance where, where the ribbing and the belt ribbing and the belting don't are, are not negatively impactful they'll help stiffen up that sidewall so that we can get through there that was that was far better than i thought it was going to do but now see we'll do a transition here this is more forward drive oriented can we get here can we get here Yeah, all right. Uh, again, the, we've got the hard side and the, and the easy side, the rough side and the soft side. Did much better on the rough side than I had anticipated. Uh, and then soft side, uh, We're gonna be, uh, I don't know, it's a delightful morning. It's wonderfully cool. Uh, it's clear. Uh, I think the camera's gonna pick up some nice colors. Uh, we're gonna give them a 7.5 on that. Just for no real reason. I mean, that's that's not explicitly true. Th there's a reason. It did the thing. And it did the thing well enough that in junk view scoring, it was, it was a fair eight on that. And then, you know, we get to some reliant on one axle and then the tires, they just don't have enough grip in them. Yeah, you can see there, that foam insert is pretty soft. We're getting nearly no deflection on that rear tire because it's ribbed and belted, so I think these tires would need a very soft insert. Yeah, grip and slip is not gonna be a problem because it's more slip than it is grip. You get to a certain point though. Eh, yeah, all right. Uh, in junk view terms, it's the, it's the same thing. It's a 7.5. It's not, it's not killing me, but it's also not killing me. Over at the notch, uh, shadow's so sharp, you think we were on the moon. Okay. Again, bad entry, but it kind of pushed me into it.
I'm just kind of watching the lugs move. And the more we get into a bounce and release here, like the lower I feel the score is gonna go. Honestly, it, right rolling in, that first kind of breach up, I was like, 7.5 again? Nah, seven, seven. Roll straight into Daphne's, into the third. And I felt good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So all he has is an opportunity to lose points here. See how it reacts on the soft side. There. Hey! All right. That's a, that's a little shine right there, a little shiny. Not too bad, Brookirk. Delimit, get the, get the real side angle here. See what we got in terms of pull. Yeah, there's just not a lot of forward drive. We have a lot of position ability and we have almost stiff enough sidewalls to counteract the foams to give us some decent side hill performance, but like. Both the compound and the composition, the make of the, 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 the actually what the tire is, are not really conducive. Like we're, there's black spots. We're leaving, we're leaving spots out here too. So we're supposed to be bumping anyway. I was just, I was kind of curious. Nah. What, what, we're, what you're looking for, not just the donkey, not how high is the kick, but do we land in a straight line? Do we stay true to the direction that we're, we're trying to take? A little double, a little bell curve. Yeah, you gotta bell curve it. On the bell curve, it's okay. It's modestly all right. Does a little bit better on a lower speed bump. The big bumps will, will tend to pop the rear end a lot. Let's try the big. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, man, like I wanna say 7.5 again, but I'm gonna go with a seven on the bumps because sometimes it's a little unpredictable. Now let's see if we can flop this thing. We haven't. No, sometimes baseline is like, what'd you say, flop? T too, too much, dude, too much. Very shiny on the inside. I mean, am I right or am I right? Uh, I thought, I thought, I thought I got enough entry angle there. I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna bounce it off the side here. They don't have quite, hey, see, just like that. So we'll try the forward. Yeah, it, the reverse bump. So you, you've got to have a fair amount of wheel speed. We do take that into consideration. That's gonna knock it down half a point from where I had the bump. So in summary for myself, as much as for you, because the, the whiteboard is way over there. I'm gesturing over my shoulder. Uh, at Daphne's, I give that a solid eight. Uh, for bump, I'm gonna go a seven. And for self-writing, I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth here between eight and 8.5. 8.5. So what do we say? Eight, seven, 8.5. Eight, seven, 8.5. I got a little distracted by the helicopter of eternal obnoxiousness. Now, when I turned on the hose, the valve was already on, so we sprayed a little water on here. But I'm not, I'm not expecting the dry performance to be any better. When you see that much bounce, That's what Tiggers do, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here for bouncing. So if you can get to the top of the hill using nothing but throttle, I mean, good for you. 
but uh, that's that's kind of what we're getting. I'm gonna say it's the belting and the ribbing, honestly, that's doing most of the, the negative work here. Oh, all my rubber. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I've said this in many a junk view in the past, but can you smell what the five is cooking? Uh, it's not a five. It's not a five. These are these are subtle nuance. I mean, it's it's what we get with wet. But when I hit the little button to turn cruise control off, we slide back a little. But for the most part, we kind of stay where we are. So the ability to hold, there was, was there an inkling there? What, one, one last one to see if the, if we still feel the 8.5. Yeah, it's, it's pretty whippy snappy. That's a, that's an 8.5. Transition, uh, uh, the transition period, like how long we drove on the side of the tires was a little longer. Snaps a little better. You can, you can move your way up to a six if you can get up there. Trying not to, oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I thought <laughs> there was a, there was the faintest, faintest glimmer. 5.5. Uh, pardon me for a moment here while I do some mental math because I've gotten so uh, accustomed to the the to the kiss that uh, I forgot my phone and I wanna I wanna wrap this up right here I got I gotta figure out a route to get up onto there we go oh, almost almost there we go hey that's that's almost framed. Super, Kirk. Six at Slick Rock. 7.5 at Daphne's and Quailin. Seven at the Notch. Eight at Daphne's third. Seven at the Bumps. 8.5 on Self Reading. 5.5 I give it to get it on the wet. It's not, it doesn't just fall off, but it's as close to as bad as you could. That's a, 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 a total points across eight things of 57. And this one was really easy to do uh, the math uh, because if it had gotten a 56, that would be a seven even. So it's a 7.1 end change. And uh, a 7.1, yeah, I mean, you know, you do the mental math. That's 7.1 in junk view scoring, which is, I don't know, like a three and a half. So not totally hopeless, but certainly not recommended. It's not a it's not a good tire. And I think a part of it is compound, but I think potentially a bigger part of it is the belting and the ribbing. I think the construction is hurting us more than the compound. So that, that, that this is very, we, we have now fallen, we have, Ally Express has been hitting, to make baseball analogies, doubles and triples. And uh, Amazon has, as of recent, been grounding out softly to the pitcher. Like he's not even hitting it out to the shortstop. Uh, but this is what we've, uh, this is part and parcel of the junk view. This is kind of what we've come to expect. More often than not, a tire is going to be uh, a 7.1 is bad. I'm, I'm never going to recommend to you anything in a junk view really that's under an 8.5, basically. 
It's got to do about an average of 8.5 at the at the skills. And we had we had a couple glimmers. Daphne's third looked really good, and the self writing is good because the self writing isn't taking into account that the ribbing and the belting that that's killing the forward drive. If this tire was not written, somebody get out their Dremel and grind off all the ribs and belts on the inside and this tire would probably, it may, we could get as maybe to an 8. I still don't think it would be an 8.5 because the compound's not right. So there you go, another uh, Amazon Super Brickirk is, is right there in the, in the midst of not the worst and not the best. You are lukewarm, so I spit you out. Uh, not, not great not unexpected so thanks for dropping by the canyon thanks for watching this one please do comment below please do like and subscribe do consider uh, just for a moment a day just consider a channel membership in between now and the time when we meet again i please do invite you one and all to do your very best to have a good one everybody we'll see you again very soon here from the canyon we're going to we're just going to smash and dash this off uh no slow rollout We'll catch you next time, whenever that might be. We love having you.